G'day. If you're a scoop netter, and like me, you're a bit hard on your gear, either through use or abuse, then every so often you're going to have to replace your bag. Now, new bags, they're bright white, and as a theory goes, that bright white bags can spook off the white bait when they see it coming down the river. So if you want to knock the brightness down on your bag a little bit, or you just don't want to look like the new guy down at the river with a new net, uh, then stay tuned, and I'll show you a little trick of mine for taking the color out of your bag. So you're going to need a few things. You're going to need your new net, a large bucket that's going to fit your new net in it, some water, some tea bags, some weights, and an axe. Actually, you don't need an axe, you just need something to stir the whole caboodle with. Now, I've started with a 10 litre bucket of warm water. Chuck the tea bags in. Give them a bit of a stir up. And then pour that into your bigger bucket. Fill that up with cold water. Oh, and make sure your bucket doesn't leak. Now, just before I throw this one in the brew, just a couple of things I like to see in a scoop net bag. The first is these things. They're a Velcro uh, tab to attach them onto your frame. Um, I find these to be really good. I've had ones before where they've just a piece of material which you tie in a knot. They tend to wear out. These things are found to be really robust. The other thing is at the other end, uh, where you tie the knot in the end there, you have these little cords here. And what I do with these is I tie um, an eight ounce fishing weight onto them. And when I was younger, I wore out a lot of nets by putting a few stones in the bottom of the trap. Uh, they drag along the riverbed and wear the material out. Put a weight on there, just hangs out the back end, uh, no problems. The next thing you wanna do is just put your net in it. Push it down, make sure you got most of the air out of it. Then take your weights, and I've got spanners here, but uh, anything relatively uh, narrow and heavy is fine. Just make sure none of the net is sticking out the top of the water. Now the existing net I've got, um, there were a few bits that did stick out the top of the water, and what you end up getting is the water wetting the bits out of the water. The tannin from the tea travels up, and you get a darker stain on that bit that's just above the water. So when you pull it out, you've got lines all over your net. So if you want a good consistent staining, make sure it's all submerged. Now I'm gonna let this soak for about three days. Every day or so, just come out, give it a bit of a stir, make sure the net's in different positions. If there's bits folded in on itself, sort of turn them out a bit, make sure it's all underwater. And then at the end of the third day, we'll pull it out, we'll dry it out, and it'll be pretty dark. Some of that tannin is going to wash out, but you'll find a lot of it sticks and it's going to take a lot of that brightness out when you actually go down to the river to use it. So the bag has been soaking for just under three days now. I'm going to take it out and put it on the line to dry it out. And you can see it's lost that brightness and it's soaked up some of those tannin colours from the tea bags. When we compare it against the old net, you can see it's actually a lot darker than it was before. So there it is, relatively straightforward, big bucket of water, a few tea bags, chuck the net in it, make sure it's completely submerged, leave it for a few days, and you take the brightness right out of them. Yeah, that could be worth knowing.